This is the first example of 11 examples. So number one, find the factors of 30. Well, first of all, to remember what factors are. Factors are things that go into a given number or expression. So for example, if we want to find the factors of 30, then we want to list all the numbers that go into 30. Factors come in pairs, and that's the best way to set out trying to find each of the factors. So the smallest number that we can think of that goes into 30 is the number 1. 1 is part of a pair because 1 times 30 is 30. That means 30 is also a factor of 30. Our next number we can try is 2. Does 2 go into 30? It does. 2 goes into 30 15 times, so that means 15 is also a factor. Next number we can try is 3. Does 3 go into 30? Yes, 3 goes into 30 10 times, so 3 and 10 are also factors. What about 4? Does 4 go into 30? Nope, 4 doesn't go into 30. Next one we can try is 5. Does 5 go into 30? It does. 5 goes into 30 6 times. So these two are also a pair of factors. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then we've come down as far as 6. Okay, so there is no other factors. Alright, if we go beyond 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on, none of these ones are factors. We get to 10, it's a factor. The next one after that is 15 and then 30. So finding our factors using this pair method is the best way to go about it. The factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30. This is example number two. In this example, we want to find all the factors of 6ab squared. So this time, it's an expression that we have. Now, if we look above, our list started with the number 1. Now, this time, we're going to have more than one list of pairs. We're looking at the numbers first. It's going to start with number 1, the first list. Okay, but that's not the only thing we have. We also have some A's. Okay, so our next list is going to start with 1A, which is just A. And we also have B in there as well. So our third list is going to start with B. What we can do now is start to list our pairs. So starting with the first list, we have 1. And 1 times 6AB squared that's our first pair. Now thinking of the next number that goes into 6, the next number that goes into 6 is 2. And the other part of that pair is 3ab squared. 2 times 3ab squared is 6ab squared. The next number that goes into 6 is 3. So the other part of that pair is 2ab squared. And the last number that goes into 6 is 6 itself. So 6 is a factor and 6 times ab squared. So that's our first list. 1, 2, 3, 6, ab squared. 2b ab squared, 3ab squared, and 6ab squared. Our next list is going to start with a. So the other part of that pair is 6b squared, because a times 6b squared gives us 6ab squared. So 6b squared. So this list started with 1. This starts with 1a. So the next one in this list is 2a. 2a times 3b squared. That's our next pair. Next number, our 
expression is 3a, 3a and 2b squared. And finally, our last number was 6, so this one is 6a, and we have b squared. So that's our list again for list number 2. Our pairs a in 6b squared, 2a in 3b squared, 3a and 2b squared, and 6a and b squared. The last list begins with the final letter, which is B, okay, or 1B, if you want to think about it that way. So, looking for the things that go into 6AB squared, so the other part of this pair is 6AB. 6AB. So, that's the first pair. B times 6AB gives us 6AB squared. The next one in our list is 2B. 2B and the other part of that pair is 3AB. Then we have 3B and 2AB. And finally 6B and AB. So this one's a little bit crushed in here at the middle, but that's all the factors. B, 2B, 3B, 6B, AB, 2AB, 3AB, and 6AB. So now we have here is a full list of all our factors of 6AB squared. Example number three, again, something you should definitely already know. 3a plus 2a is equal to 5a. Our next example, 9a minus 3a, again, something that should be straightforward, is 6a. Sample number 5, we have 2a times 3a, so first of all 2 times 3 is 6, and a times a is a squared. Example number 6, we have 6a divided by 4a, so that can be written 6a over 4a, our a's can cancel out, and 6 divided by 4, well that gives us, and we'll move it over here, 6 divided by 4 gives us 1 and 2 quarters. 1 and 2 quarters is the same as 1 and a half. This is example 7. What we have is the fraction 3 quarters. And what we want to do is write down an equivalent fraction. But this time we want the denominator to be 20. So equivalent fraction means that the fractions are going to be equal. Our denominator is 4. We want the denominator to be 20. That means we must multiply the denominator by 5. In order for the fraction to stay equal, if we multiply the denominator by 5, we must multiply the numerator by 5. 4 times 5 gives us 20 in the bottom, 3 times 5 gives us 15 on the top. So we can see that 3 quarters is equivalent to 15 over 20. In other words, the fractions are equal. So again, starting with 3 quarters, this time we want to write down an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 32. 
4 times 8 is 32. 3 times 8 and our equivalent fraction this time is 24 over 32.